On 11 February 2022, the Australian government declared the koala an endangered species. The endangered status is one of the highest levels of mortality for a species and is just below critically endangered and extinct. Earlier, the koala had been recognized as a vulnerable species. The decline in its numbers is due to land clearing and bushfires which have been shrinking the koala's habitat. Australia's wildfires of 2020 torched around 59 million acres of land affecting up to 3 billion animals. The World Wide Fund for Nature Australia estimated that 60,000 koalas suffered impacts including death, injury, trauma, smoke inhalation, dehydration and reduced food supply. The Australian Koala Foundation estimates that there are less than 1 lakh koalas left in the wild, possibly as few as 43,000. The findings of a 2020 parliamentary inquiry revealed that koalas could become extinct by 2050 in the absence of urgent government intervention. The root cause of the koala's declining population, however, is climate change. In late 2020, researchers reported that climate change made fires in Australia approximately 30% more likely to occur since 1900. Climate change has also caused disease and elevated carbon dioxide levels that have impacted eucalyptus, the main food source for koalas. In addition, deforestation caused by urbanization which contributes to climate change significantly affects koala's habitats further during the cop26 summit in glasgow australia was shown to have the highest greenhouse gas emissions from coal in the world on a per capita basis koalas are affected by greenhouse gas emissions due to their diets as carbon dioxide levels rise protein levels in plants decrease significantly making the koala's diets less nutritious due to this they are more likely to face malnutrition and starvation Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison's government in January 2022 announced 50 million Australian dollars to help the species although the funding was welcomed by environment groups it was considered insufficient If the root causes of the species decline were not addressed